I'm Tim Crandall, Director of Golf at the Winter Green Resort. All right, here we are today talking about distance control. We have uh, several different yardages set up, 40, 60, and 80 yards, and I'm going to show you how we approach each one of these shots. This first shot here is a 40-yard shot, and what we're going to do to control this distance is kind of control where we hold on to the club. Okay, so I'm going to grip all the way down to the bottom of the grip on this club. I'm going to set my club so that the club is facing the target, the club face is facing the target. My stance is going to be a little bit open to this shot, the reason for that being so I can get my body turned. I want some rotation going toward the target on this shot. Okay, and then simply wait on that left side and hit a shot somewhere in that 40 yard range. So the 40 yard wedge shot, and now here we are, we're at 80 yards. What's the difference between the two? Well, not a lot of difference, really. 40 yards, we were down on the steel. As we got into the 60 yard shot, we moved up a little bit. As we get into the 80, we're gonna move up just a little bit more, okay? Setup is gonna be the same. Club face goes toward the target. Still gonna have my left foot back and slightly open to the target, and I'm still gonna be leaning into that left side. My stance does get a little wider because the club is going to bottom out a little more forward in the swing because I'm gripping up on the club and swinging through. To recap, there's two significant differences is where you grip the club on, on the actual grip itself and really the width of your stance. And if you make those two adjustments, then good things happen. That's right. As we move our hands up the grip, our stance is going to get just a little bit wider because the club is going to bottom out at a different area in the swing.